All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Gilbert Burns and Colby Covington. So here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter, though. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Beautiful strike. There's no tell on that leg kick. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice one. Good. Probably my favorite 
striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation, he's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. Nicely done. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Open St. Pru would be proud. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. by this young man. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Punches block. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice step. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, missed on that one. He turned his entire body into that uppercut. He landed exactly as he turned. Now a knee. Good exchange there inside. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Burns has got the tie clinch now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Burns going for the takedown, but unable to land. Back and forth we go! <laughs> Uppercut there blocked by Covington. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but a takedown attempt. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, wow.
All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would've had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Awesome. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. He is ready. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Burns. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra. Now he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. It's in there deep. There you go. and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out, Gilbert Carrillo! result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight they felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win but get the finish and they certainly got it tonight they got the finish he's such a terrific grappler every time